Hey, what's up, y'all? How's everybody today, man? Um, I got some. I got a couple shout outs to do today, man. To some, to some um guys who had some good weeks, you know, this week in the NFL. Also, teams defensively and all that other good stuff, and some coaches, man. Some coaches too. Um, a little, little bit different than the way I usually do it. But um, I'm going to go with first, I'm going to go with the Jets' total team effort, the defense. Um, Jamal Adams was, was, was out there killing, man, lights out. Uh, Sam Darnold and Le'Veon Bell, they all control the game. Robbie Anderson, man, they, they just went out there and did their thing, and they took the Raiders completely out of the game from start to finish. Um, Buffalo, man, Josh Allen. And he started out his career just being like a like a dangerous threat running the ball. Now he's placing the ball in there, man, and, and he can I mean I mean he can win games for you now. Um I mean I you look at their record, they're like the, the Buffalo Bills is third place in the AFC right now. Um shout out to Frank Gore for um moving into third place on the all time rushing list. So he's up there in red. Um, was Emma Smith, Walter Payton, and Frank Gore? Now he passed Barry Sanders Sunday. Um, Mike Tomlin. I've been real critical because I'm a Steelers fan, like die hard to the heart. Um, I live and die with the Steelers, man. And um, Mike Tomlin, I haven't been giving him enough credit, you know. Um, there's a lot of things questionable and, and all that, but they won a game yesterday with absolutely nothing. I mean, nothing. They won a game yesterday with the with the with the third string quarterback hitting a, a third wide receiver for the only touchdown in the game to win the game. Not the only touchdown, but uh, the, the the winning touchdown to win the game, so to speak. But, um, you know, Mike Tom is doing a good job, man. He don't got Ben. Mason Rudolph is shaky at best. We don't got a number one receiver. Uh, tight ends been in and out. Vince McDonald been in and out of the lineup. A couple injuries. Um... AB's gone, Le'Veon's gone. I mean, we're missing a lot, man. And and we're over 500. Pittsburgh still is, is above 500. So that, that's that's saying a lot for Mike Tomlin, man. I gotta give him some props, man. I gotta I gotta get off his back a little bit. I gotta give him some props for that. And then now it's like an avalanche of uh, shout outs for <laughs> San Francisco 49ers, man. They got it all working from the front office, um, John Lynch, the coach, you know, Kyle Shanahan, like they just got it all working, man. They got, they got a quarterback that's winning games. They have a, a crazy, crazy rushing attack, even though they got a couple injuries right now. Kittle, they probably got the best tight end in the league right now. No disrespect to Travis Kelsey, but Kittle playing with a broke bone in his ankle and still balling over 100 yards, getting into the end zone. I mean, yeah, and it did. So and and now what they put together on defense is is probably the most impressive. So their front four is so good they don't even really have to blitz out of desperation. Now they just blitz just to make the other team uncut because they're getting home. And, and, you know, by home, I mean to the quarterback. They getting home with the front four. Like when Strahan and all those dudes for the Giants won those two Super Bowls. They getting home with the front four. So they don't got to blitz the linebackers. They don't got to bring safeties and doing all this crazy stuff. Um, they can get pressure with the front four. And if they need to get you on the ground, your quarterback on the ground, then they'll just bring another guy or two. And you can't block everybody because you can't block the front four without a blitz. So that's big time. That's big time, man. San Francisco is doing it right now. I think San Francisco's the best team in the league because 
they took they took Green Bay apart. And I'm, I'm like, wow, we finally got a good Sunday night game. It wasn't good. San Francisco took them apart, man. And and Richard Sherman's letting it be known. He's being chill. He's being real chill. He ain't respecting y'all talking about his quarterback like that. But he's being real chill. But um, the NFL's heating up, man. The NFL's getting good right now. And um, it's a bunch of different faces. A bunch of different Like, Houston came back and beat Indy the other night. On Thursday, so you know this week is this week has been you know something to see. The NFL this season so far is something to see. Um, like even with the Patriots Cowboys game, um, the Patriots look like they're slowing down a little bit. But I think Dallas's problem is they wasn't playing to win. But oh, big shout out to Stephon Gilmore, shut Amari Cooper out, no catches, no catches. So. That's crazy, cause Pro Football Weekly had Amari Cooper ranked number one receiver in the league coming into the week, and um, Stephon Gilmore shut him out, no catches. So that's big time, man. Um, I don't know if y'all got some games y'all want me to talk about. Comment below, and we'll get them on here for next week. But other than that, man, I appreciate the people that watch, like, subscribe. Share the videos, man, and, and we know we try to get it more popping. Let's go.